Hey guys, this is Kerlinda, your soap and sister with Your Real Naturals. Stopping in to give you a quick video today showing you a little bit about live concentration in a snapshot. So as you can see here, we're on soapcap.net. This is our uh, soap calculator that I'm going to be using for this video. And this is the soap calculator that I use for all of my soaps as well. So I hope that the information that I share with you today in this video you find useful to be able to help you on your soap making journey. Now, whenever you're making soap, one of the first things that you want to do is to decide what type of oils that you want to use for your soap. So as you can see here for this sample recipe, we'll be using canola oil, castor oil, coconut oil at 76 degrees, olive oil, pomace, and palm oil. Okay, now we'll also need to decide and whenever you're making your soap, after you decide what oils you want to use, you want to determine what your batch size is going to be. So for this example, right now we have it set at one pound. If we wanted to change it to two pounds, all you have to do is come over here and click the number two, update your pounds, and then you will see that everything changes for you. So if we change our pounds, um, it will change in our ounces and it will change in our grams and all that. So let's just go ahead and take a look and do that right here. Tab it on over. And then, now you can see here we still have the same amount of oils in our recipe. But what we're going to do is we'll calculate our recipe at this two pound mark with water uh, as percentage of oils as 38. As the soap calculator, uh, you know, suggested. Now, what we want to do here, this is considered our lye concentration, and I'll show you that in a second. So, with our water as a percent of oils at 38, this is considered a full water. So, when we click here, calculate recipe, and view our recipe, we will see here that this has calculated us a two pound batch of soap at a water to um, percentage of oil at 38%. We have a super fat of 5%. And at 38% is telling us that our lye concentration is about like 27.214%. So when we look down here, our water to lye ratio, we have about 2.67 part water to one part lye. Okay, so this is very important in this recipe because when we look at this over here at a full water recipe on this two pound recipe, we are needing 12.16 ounces in order to ensure that everything saponifies um, precisely as the soap calculator suggests. So we would need for this recipe at 38% or full water, 12.16 ounces of water and 4.55 ounces of um lie for this recipe now we can see our qualities and everything for this part are 39 percent for our hardness cleansing so 20 percent so on and so forth but what we're going to do at this point is we are going to go back to our soap calculator now as our focus is on lye concentration, lye concentration basically is how strong is your lye solution and how much water is in your soap. This further also lets you know that um, you cannot change the amount of lye that you put in your soap for it to saponify properly, but you can change the amount of water, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to take and we're going to click off of our water and we're going to click our lye concentration. So for this demonstration, right here what we want to do is we want to say okay we want to give this batch a low water batch so with this batch being a low water batch what we're saying is we want to do at least 50 50 so 50 percent lye concentration will give us 50 percent lye 50 percent water we haven't changed anything else on this recipe what we're going to do is we're going to come over here we're going to click calculate recipe and we'll click view now, as you can see, we have a two pound recipe. Um, the water at the percent of oils now that we've made this change, you can see it's different and it is 14.21. Still at a 5% super fat, but look, our lye concentration has changed. So now our water lye ratio is one to one. Okay, so now we basically have equal parts lye, equal parts water. When you're talking about a low water batch, you don't want to take your lye concentration lower than 50% because you would need at least a 50-50 for your lye to dissolve properly in a low water batch. So you just want to keep that in mind. You notice these numbers right here are consistent. These numbers right here are consistent. But look at this. Our water changed. 
So we have a 4.55 ounces of water, a 4.55 ounces of lye. Now, if you're using grams or pounds, you can see that both of these numbers are the same. But case in point is, you notice how this changed, okay? So now, let's come back over here to our soap calculator. Okay, we see that we have our ounces. We can change our ounces to 32, which is going to put us back to our two pounds, right? Now, if we take our lye concentration here, same batch of soap, but we're going to make a moderate water or a medium lye concentration for this. Now, on a medium lye concentration, that's usually um, when you're talking about medium or somewhere in the moderate range. That is usually where you want to keep your lye concentration within 30 to 40 percent. So for this demonstration, we are going to make it 35 percent. We haven't changed anything else. What we're going to do is come over here, calculate our recipe, and we are going to uh, click into our recipe, view our recipe. So as you can see here, when we changed it to ounces, this changed to 32 ounces instead of two pounds. Everything else remained the same. Our lye concentration has changed to the 35% we input into it. We can see our percentage of water to uh, oil weight is now 26.39%. And when we look at our water to lye ratio, we're talking about a 1.85 to a 1%. Now, the difference in this versus our last recipe is this recipe right here gives us more time to work with our recipe if we're wanting to make swirls or designs in the soap and we can take a look at that by taking a look at our water we can see here that we have more water in this recipe in ounces is 8.44 now as far as our lye this is our lye is still at our 4.55 okay so you notice this number right here stayed the same from the last time, but this number right here changed, okay? Now, again, we have the same qualities and everything in our bar. Now, what we can do here is go back to our recipe again, same exact recipe, and say if we wanted to make a high water lye solution. Now, on a high water lye solution, we're going to say 25% for our lye concentration. Basically, come over here calculate the recipe, view our recipe. Now, on this high water recipe, what I want you all to know, you still have your 32 ounces, but look at your water as your percent of your uh, oil weight. It's 42.62%. Basically, this concentration will leave the, the most unsulfonified oils in your soap and may result in a softer bar, okay? Because you have a lot more water in this soap than your first batch or your second batch, where your first batch was, was your low water batch, your second batch was your moderate water batch. So here on this high High water batch look you have three parts water to one part lye okay so with this being said look at how much more water we have in this same batch we have 13.64 ounces of water and then we still have our same amount of lye so as you can see whether we have a minimum moderate or high water um, concentration for the most part, unless you're doing a 50-50%, your lye is remaining the same for your oils to saponify properly, but your water changes. So the more water that you have in your soap could potentially, as I mentioned to you uh, a few minutes ago, could mean a softer bar, and it could also take longer for your bar to cure. In addition to, some people usually wonder, well, it seems like when my bar cures, it's like my fragrance goes out of my bar. Well, sometimes when you have a um high water solution and you have not anchored your um fragrance then those molecules have nothing to hold on to so that's why you may be experiencing less of a um a high fragrance load whenever your bar has fully cured because a lot of cured i'm sorry because a lot of your fragrance molecules could have escaped your soap with the water so um one thing I want y'all to remember is that when you use low water in your soap, it's best to soap at room temperature because when you're using a low water uh, lye solution in your soap, 
this soap sets up really really fast okay because of the heavy amount of lye that's in this soap now at least when you're soaping it at room temperature it gives you the opportunity to allow it to slow down some because heat is not contributing to the um, reaction uh, high water solutions these are mostly used when you are needing a lot of time to you know work with your soaps if you're making very intricate soaps with very intricate designs or a lot of different swirls or whatever whatnot then this may be your way to go if you're like wanting a fancy fancy soap okay so and, and if you want things that have a lot of definition this this high water is usually like very slow moving but again this one right here it will take a long time for your um soap to cure you could have you with a softer bar as well as this this soap with a um with a concentration here a high water concentration guys this kind of soap right here you can experience the most shrinkage as well so it can be obviously smaller by the time it finishes curing versus a uh high or moderate concentration so just keep that in mind okay so most of you will notice in my videos that i soap um Whenever I soap in my videos, I'm actually soaping at room temperature and in most of my videos also I am using a moderate or a medium lye solution. Most of the time when I am soaping, I am soaping with my lye concentration here at 35%. So if I were to use this same exact recipe, my recipe would look like this, okay? And then any additives I put in here, I would put here. So if I were putting like, um, say if I were putting milk, you know, my additive would be goat milk. If I were putting any kind of clays, bentonite clay, kale and clay, whatever, it would go right here. Any fragrances, any notes or anything that I notice if my uh, fragrance may be riced or seized or whatever activity happened, a lot of times you'll see that I'll, I'll write notes right in here. So... I hope this helps you guys and help you to understand what your lie concentration is um, at a snapshot to be able to, you know, help you on your soap making journey. If this video was helpful for you, please go ahead, um, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure that you tell a friend who tells a friend who tells a friend out here in the soaping community. Thank you all so much for watching as always, always, always. Um, your love and your support is appreciated to the growth of this channel as well as to the growth of your real naturals. If you like the more videos and you want me to make more videos that you think would be helpful to you, go ahead and leave your video suggestions down in the comments below and I will make sure that I try to get some of those videos produced out for you at a later date. Thank you guys so much for watching and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.